What's up guys? Today I'm going to be sharing some tough love with you all that might actually be more encouraging than you might think. Hello everyone! If you are new here, I'm Karina and I love to talk about all things storytelling. I'm a Christian young adult indie author and I want to help writers like you make the world a better place through storytelling. So I have seen this type of video done by a couple of the bigger authortube channels and I thought it would just be really fun to make my own version and share my harsh advice for newbie writers with you all. And like I said, I think some of these, even though they might not be what you want to hear, they might actually be kind of encouraging and kind of relieving, so stick with me. So the first one, your first draft is going to stink, and that is okay. There is a really good quote, if I can find who said it, I will put it up on the screen, that says, your, your first draft is just you telling yourself the story, and that is just such a perfect way of putting it. You're just throwing your ideas all down onto paper or your Word document or whatever, and there's going to be some holes, there's going to be some things that don't make sense, there's going to be some things that you didn't think about because as you had it in your head, or even as you were outlining, if you're me, there were still things that you're going to forget or leave out or that make perfect sense to you, but for whatever reason just don't make sense to other people. And that's okay. There are going to be parts of your first draft that are really rough, but there are also going to be parts of your first draft that you love and that you enjoy, and there are going to be parts that you stick with and still enjoy till the very end when you're done with your story or whenever you've published that novel. So don't give up. It's perfectly normal to have rough spots in your first draft, but definitely don't let that keep you from starting. You know what's funny about this video is that like some of the stuff I'm talking about is stuff I really need to hear right now, so I'm kind of like preaching to myself at the same time. I'm getting ready to start Camp Nano, and this is a story that I've been working on for quite a while. I've been outlining this for about a month and I realized I kind of gave myself too much time to outline because I'm kind of being a perfectionist and not leaving myself enough wiggle room to just let the story do its thing and so I've kind of been dealing with some fear of, oh gee, there's going to be so many plot holes, but I'm like, Karina, you're making an entire video and one of the points is don't let that keep you from starting, so hey, I'm preaching to myself on this one too. Okay, point number two, your first book probably won't be the book. Now this is kind of more for those of you who are publishing, trying to publish. The first book you publish is probably not going to be your most successful, your most popular, or even your best written book, and that's okay. That's normal. I do not expect that this book up here, even though I love it, and even though I put a lot of work into it, and even though some other people have really loved it as well, I don't expect this book to be the number one book of my author career. I expect that I'm going to grow, I'm going to learn my audience even more, I'm going to learn my writing skill even more, and so I'm going to keep producing better and better material and material that might resonate more and more with my audience as I go on. So if you have published a book and your first book just really didn't do as well as you wanted to, or you just really haven't found your audience yet, or you're just like, well gee, I thought being an author meant you have like a lot of readers. Don't be discouraged. Most authors don't find a lot of success until they have multiple books published. It's normal for your first book not to be your most successful, so don't let that make you afraid of publishing at all or make you discouraged if you have published because on the contrary, that's kind of exciting because you know, in a way, it can only get better from here. This is my first book and even if there are some things I'd like to change in the future, it's my first book. So. I can move forward and you know most people's first books aren't like the one so I can move forward and I can be excited that I have even more you know opportunities and probably even more success in the future even if my first one didn't go exactly as planned or wasn't quite as successful as I hoped the first book that's okay that's normal so give yourself a pat on the back because <laughs> it's hard to do that it's hard to get that first book ready and if you're still in the process of writing your first book and you're like well gee does this mean it's a waste of my time no every author has to start with a first book just because it's not the most popular of their books doesn't mean it's a flop doesn't mean it's not worth it it is a huge part of establishing your author career you will never be an author if you don't publish your first book so even though it might not be the most successful book you ever published that's actually a good thing because that gives you motivation to do good in the future versus like, well gee, my first book is going to be the best thing I ever do so I'm never going to be able to live up to that. 
so I guess I might as well just quit. There's always room for improvement and there's always room for more opportunity. So celebrate the fact that you are learning and growing as an author and celebrate the fact that there will be different opportunities and that you can grow in the future. Number three, you have to believe in your writing. You are going to deal with criticism and feedback if you let anyone pretty much read your writing, especially once you start getting into things like publishing when you have beta readers and you start getting reviews. I myself as a published author have had to deal with some rough feedback. So you have to build confidence in your work as a writer. What I do not mean by this is not caring what other people say. There is an element of that in some ways to having confidence in your writing. Like if there is a part of your story that, you know, you are really, really happy with, it's like your favorite part of the story, it's a pivotal moment, it's really key in the story, and somebody comes to you and tells you that they don't like it, they thought it was horrible, Unless a bunch of people start saying it didn't make sense, you probably should just let that piece of negative advice go and believe in that part of your story because that's a part of your story you're really, really happy with how it came out. You have to be able to identify your strengths and identify the parts of your story that you're proudest of. And I'm not saying you can't still accept critique in those areas. There are some parts to free that I'm very proud of and they still got critiques and I still realized from those critiques and from those reviews that perhaps there were some things I could adjust, but that didn't mean that that element I was really proud of was worthless or wasn't any good. It just means that I could learn and continue to grow as I write more books in the future and learn from what my readers had to say. But at the same time, and this is hard I think for all of us, I struggle with this. You know, confidence is not just something that you are going to have 100% all the time. It's something that you have to really work on in yourself. And if you are a Christian author like me and you really believe God's given you this story to tell, you have to remind yourself of that as well. You know, why I'm doing this and that I believe God has called me to do this. And, and that is really helpful for me. That is really what motivated me to publish this book and to get this book written because there were some rough spots in the process, let me tell you. But if you believe in the story you have, have to tell and if you believe that you are honing your skill as a writer and getting better and better, that's what you need in order to be able to take those criticisms because even though you can grow, you don't have to think that you're trash because you got some criticisms. Believe in yourself, believe in your writing, but also be willing to grow. So number four, you are going to have writer's block, you are going to have creative block, and that's okay. That is normal. That is a normal part of the creative process to have times where no matter how often you sit down in front of your computer or in front of your notebook, you just can't figure out what you're supposed to do next. Even if you have like a super detailed outline and you know like what comes next two steps down the road, but you're just stuck in the part you're on, and that's okay. That happens to me more times than I really want to think about because <laughs> creative block and writer's block is just part of being a creative and part of being a writer. There's nothing wrong with it. Now sometimes if you've been in one of those for a long time you might need a little help to get out of it and that's okay. There are lots of great videos on YouTube about you know writer's block and how to get out of it. In fact I've done a couple myself and I will link those up above or above, I always point to the wrong side, and down in the description if you are interested. But yeah, don't beat yourself up because you're dealing with writer's block. It happens. You might need to get a little help to get out of it, but you might just need to take a break for a while too, and that's okay. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Number five, your style and your preferences are going to change over time, and that's okay. I do not have the same style that I had seven years ago whenever I was first starting to write stories with an actual structure. I do not have the same preferences as a writer that I did back whenever I first started writing stories. Even just in about a year and a half's time, I have changed a lot of my preferences. When I made my first AuthorTube newbie tag, I wrote exclusively on paper and now I write almost exclusively on my laptop. Your preferences are going to change. Your idea of what you want your writing schedule to be is going to change. If you have a writing schedule or not is going to change. I don't actually have a writing schedule, but I do tend to do things like NaNoWriMo and Camp NaNoWriMo. In fact, I'm getting ready to do Camp NaNoWriMo in July. And of course, you know, I'm also wearing my NaNoWriMo shirt because I did it last year the full deal for the first time, which was so much fun. I did all kinds of vlogs. I'll link those two if you're interested in it. 
but your preferences and even your writing style are going to change somewhat, and that's okay. I feel like if there's one takeaway from this video, it's going to be celebrate that you're learning and growing as a writer, and be okay with the fact that you're going to make mistakes and you're going to have to learn some things the hard way along the way. I definitely made mistakes, and I definitely had to learn some things the hard way whenever I was writing and self-publishing, but you know what? By God's grace, I'm moving on, I'm learning, and I'm creating even better work in the future. And I think that that's just also a part of being a creative person, no matter what medium you're using, is you're just gonna have to grow, it's art, there's not really any definite rules, are there some good guidelines and basic practices you might want to follow? Yeah. But there are some things that come down to preference and interpretation, and that's art for you. I hope you found this video encouraging. I feel like I'm actually probably not very good at tough love because I just like want to be, you know, you're doing good, don't worry about it. But, you know, there are some things that we have to deal with that really stink, but I believe that you can do it. And sometimes you just need a pat on the back to say, you know what, it's okay, you're doing good. Some of this creative stuff is rough but it's gonna be worth it in the end. If you have enjoyed this video and you would like to see more writing, storytelling related stuff, do subscribe down below. I love building a community of authors. The author community is amazing. And I look forward to seeing you in my future storytelling adventures. Thank you for being here and I will see you next time.